What's good, Popper fans? Bryant Cook here, and today we're playing Two Land Spy, or Popper Oops, whatever you would like to call it. I don't mind. But I actually recorded this deck about a month ago. You can find that video in the card above. I said I would record it again. Here I am. So at the end of that video, I talked about potentially going down to one land. I tried that. It didn't work out for me. I found that I really wanted the second land. There was a number of situations where I would have Abundant Harvest and Land Grant, and then I needed mana, and things were just really awkward. So we're back to two lands, but I've made some modifications. We're playing Wild Cantor now, which essentially is just a slightly worse Tinder Wall, but it also increases our creature count, which I think was a thing that I was concerned with in the previous video. It also allows you to play a creature on turn one to accelerate yourself into a possible turn to win. We are still playing one copy of Wirewood Guardian. I think being able to thin out either land is pretty helpful. You could run a cycling creature here instead. I am not in love with the card, but I think it's somewhat nice to have a ninth effect but beside from land grant and the abundant harvest to thin. So let's say you've never seen this deck before. You don't want to watch the previous video. The idea behind this deck is that we're looking to cast Balustrate Spy after thinning our library or both of our lands. From there, you need one black mana floating and then either Songs of the Damned in hand or a Conjurer's Bobble in play. Then you use the Bobble to put Songs of the Damned on the bottom of your deck and then you draw the Songs of the Damned. You cast it, you make roughly 20 mana. You then flash back both copies of Crawl from the Cellar or it's okay. You only need one Crawl from the Cellar if you have Balustrate Spy. If you have destroyed the evidence, you need both crawls. A, lot, a number of people in the previous video said I could cut a crawl from the cellar, which is true if you don't plan on using destroy the evidence. So we're playing two copies of crawl, but the idea is that you flash one back, you get the Demir House Guard, and then you can sacrifice the spy, which would trigger the Grim Harvest. You return Mirror Retriever, you get Conjurer's Bobble, you Songs of the Damned, and now you create a loop where you can make roughly 20 mana over and over and over and over again. Do this until you hit about 100 mana. And then you can start looping Belly Street Spies with Grim Harvest to deck your opponent card by card. That's the idea. All right, so that's how the deck functions. Everything in this deck list is mana, a way to thin, or a combo piece. That's really how the deck works. In the sideboard, we have four duress for those pesky control matchups. Very macabre, I'll be honest. I couldn't figure out what to put in this slot. It could be darkness or something else. I don't know. But I think that this slot, I don't have a good answer for. If you can think of three cards that are better here, feel free to let me know. I just, I don't have strong opinions. Hunting Misery is really nice because it allows you to just flat out beat Graveyard Hate. So if you have Bailey Straight Spy plus three floating mana, you don't even have to execute the combo. You can just Haunting, Mis Haunting Misery your opponent out of the game. So the trigger resolves, you mill your entire library, and now you have at least 20 creatures in there. Because you can see here, we're playing 23 creatures today, and then you just Haunting Misery, no need to even execute the combo, they're just dead. So nice, you know, Nile Spellbomb or, spell or whatever, you're dead. That's just how it goes. So I'm interested to see how this plays today. And then Dissenter's Deliverance for answering the spell bombs, whatever. But that's the idea here. Let me know what you think of the deck list. Certainly open to feedback. I tried one land. I really did. It was not good. Maybe I just had a bad league, but it felt a lot worse. So I'm going to continue trying two for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the first match. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Match number one, we've already opened up a keep. We have two land grants to get both lands out of our library. We have a destroyed the evidence. Ooh, island. Not necessarily a matchup we want to see with oops. Play land grant. Grab the basic forest. Play tinder wall and we will pass the turn. 
Our opponent has Counterspell in their name. We probably shouldn't have been surprised that they're on a blue deck, but ideally when you play a deck like Oops, you don't face blue decks because they just crush you. And they're on the best deck in the format, in my opinion, Demir Terror, which runs a lot of interaction and four Nile Spall Bomb in the sideboard. They're passing the turn. Surprise, surprise. Let's play the Wild Cantor. Land Grant. We'll then Chasm, and then we'll play the Chasm. Pass the turn. They snap my Tinder Wall. Okay. Are you on Mono Blue Terror? They might be. Land number three, and they're passing. Why are we guarding at the absolute worst possible time? Play the Tinder Wall. Get in there. Pass the turn. They play a Brainstorm. And then they scour themselves. A pair of Deep Analysis. Okay. Land number four. Delver Secrets. Draw for turn. Let's cast the Abundant Harvest. Non-land. We find Spy. But now they know that we have Spy. Attack. Pass the turn. The Delver flips, revealing Force Spike. Okay, I go to 17. And they're passing the turn. Another Spirit Guide. I, uh, I'm going to just move to clean up here and get rid of this wirewood. Land number five for our opponent. We know that they have four spike and four unknowns. It's possible for us to beat a counter spell if we can draw into more mana so that way we can double wind spell, but it doesn't seem like we're in a position to do that. And the fact that they're not tapping lands tells me that they have counter spells. Let's cycle the Street Wraith down to 12 life. We find Conjurer's Bobble. Let's Grim Harvest to return the Street Wraith. They do not force Spike. All right, untap, take a draw. Another destroy the evidence. We need mana. Button Harvest. Non-land. Land grant number four. Play the Conjurer's Bobble. We just have to pass the turn. It's kind of surprising. We are about, to, our next draw step will put us a third of the way through our library, and we have not seen a Dark Ritual, a Cabal Ritual, or a Songs of the Damned. They're going to get in for five in the air. I cannot block. Another Spire Golem. They have five. Cards in hand, that is. Another Tinder Wall. Play it. They Force Spike. Pay for the Force Spike. Okay. Sacrifice Tinder Wall. Oh, I forgot the Grim Harvest is in there. That's the reason not to do this. Oh, wow. I just punted. Um, Because I forgot that once I sack a creature, I have to pay the cost on Grim Harvest to recover. So that was actually a bad line. I mean, I don't think we were going to win this game anyway, but now I'm pressured into paying the harvest cost. Damn. Yeah, I've likely just lost this. Uh, let's draw a card. I really messed that up. Songs of the Damned. Surprise, surprise. Okay. I need to remember that casting Grim Harvest is not free. We'll bring in our dress now. Get rid of this Wirewood Guardian. Couple copies of Cabal Ritual. Destroy the Evidence. Destroy the Evidence is really hard to resolve against the four Spike Spell Pierce stack. I think we want some copies of Dissenter's Deliverance. All right, I'm going to board out the Destroy the Evidence package altogether and just try this. 
Game number two. This seems reasonable. All right, so we're going to land grant. Well, we're going to get the basic forest and do the abundant harvest. Just want to make sure that we've thinned our lands out. Okay, pass the turn. Island. And they pass. A wild Cantor. If you want to force bite this, feel free. Mental note, milling, spell pierce, and deep analysis. Land number two. Delver. Draw for turn. Land grants not ideal here. Let's play duress. They brainstorm. Take the thought scour. Bobble. And we'll pass the turn. Delver triggers. Reveals counter target spell. Ouch, I go to 17. Demir House Guard. So that can transmute to go get me the um the spy. Let's go do that. Transmute. Okay. We will pass the turn now. Man is definitely the choke point at the moment. Going to 14. Draw for turn, another wild cantor. Duress. They counterspell it. Play Wild Cantor. We go to 11. They play the Terror. They're still representing Counterspell. Tenderwall. Cycle the Three Wraith. Dark Ritual. So if we think our opponent has nothing, I have a win here. Dark Ritual. Play the Spy. So with their Brainstorm, they would have had to put back exactly a pair of counter spells here. Spy Triggers. We'll target ourselves. Okay, and now we put the Songs of the Damned back on the bottom. Sacrifice the Wild Cantor. Cast Songs. And they did, in fact, have Counterspell, Counterspell. Okay, so we are starting this league off 0-1. and one. Mono Blue is not the matchup I was hoping for. But there's still four more rounds. I'm not going to sweat it. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two, we're on the draw. I don't think that this is really a hand we're looking to keep. It just doesn't do anything. We don't thin our deck from the lands. We don't have the spies. Like, it's just not worth it. Here we have the spies, or a spy, I should say. But we have no way to thin our library. We do have an initial mana source. Maybe this is a keep? I'm not sure. I'm going to be mad at myself and keep this hand. Mountain. So we won't have a whole lot of time, that's for sure. So I need to draw the cards I need immediately. Draw. Let's go to 17. Cycle the Street Wraith. That was a good one. Okay, let's grab the Woodland Chasm. Pass the turn. Land number two, another copy of Swiss Spear. Yikes, I'm taking seven here. I'm going to be at 10 life already. If I drew the basic forest, does that even do it? I'm not sure. Hmm. I can at least play out Tinderwall as a blocker. Pass the turn. Two mana. Reckless Impulse. A pair of chain lightning, so I'm probably dead next turn. 
block. We'll take two down to eight. I mean, I have to win here. Draw. That's unfortunate. I don't think we have it. Okay. What's the move? I think I'm supposed to Conjurer's Bobble and try to rip something that thins my deck. It would have to be like another land grant. Okay, here goes nothing. Destroy the evidence. That's not going to do it either. So here, having two lands bit me in the butt. Because I would have had a win otherwise. So I played a league this week where I had one land and I was constantly punished for not having two and here I'm punished for having two. You can't win. It's tough. Um, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Ball ritual, I guess. Spy targeting myself. Maybe the forest will be the bottom card of my deck and then it still wouldn't matter because I can't put the songs in my hand. Target me. Oh, well, uh, there's two cards left. Actually, it would have worked if it was the bottom card of my deck, actually. It was very close. I mean, I had two cards left, but it's just not quite good enough. I wonder if I draw a random card here if it's songs. One. Okay, if, if I drew... Okay, all four songs are in the graveyard. But if I drew a random card here and it was Songs of the Damned, I think I could actually win. Because then I would destroy the evidence my land. And then tr win that way. Okay, so we found a possible line. Um, it just wasn't good enough. That was an interesting turn. So we're facing red. They do play Relic. So I think we want the Dissenter's Deliverance. Or we can just board in the Haunting Misery. Not really sure which is better here. Get rid of this Wirewood Guardian. Board down on Destroy the Evidence. Maybe I should try the Haunting Miseries here. Board down at one crawl. Hmm. My fear is getting to seven mana at once with the Haunting Misery, but I put it in my deck for a reason, so I do want to try it. Let's just submit. On the play. Sure. Play the Woodland Chasm, pass the turn. They play a mountain. Will dare an Epicure, I will fall to 19. Draw. Cycle the Street Wraith in case I draw Land Grant. I want to be able to use these. Ooh, Bailey Street Spy. Okay. Liking the direction that this is headed. And then we'll abundant harvest. Non land. We get the grim harvest. Not a great one. So currently I'm one mana short of victory. Monastery Swift Spear. Chain Lightning. Ouch. Now they attack for three, I'll go to 11. Draw. Okay, I think I'm supposed to just play the Mirror Retriever as a chump blocker. Reckless Impulse. Mountain Synthesizer. They have the Relic, but interesting that they chose to play the Reckless Impulse first. Because you could have just had Relic open. That's a very strange decision. So, one mana is all we need. That's not going to do it. Am I dead? Abundant Harvest. Non-land. And now I've shown them Haunting Misery. Ah, oh, jeez. Can I get to a win here? Songs of the Dam would be spell number, card number six in the graveyard. Ball Ritual would be card seven, and then another one. I think I might just be dead here. I'm just one mana short. 
I'm sorry, two mana short. I have to pass. I thought for sure we were going to get this game, and then the the last few draws just did not work out. Needing one mana was not a big ask. They play the land, they have three cards, they need to deal 10 damage. Chain Lightning certainly helps with that. It's worth noting that if I had boarded in the Haunting Misery, or I'm sorry, the, uh, what are they called? The Dissenter's Deliverance over the Haunting Misery, we would have had a card to cycle that would have been more alive. Where Hunting Misery is nice is that it can beat double Relic draws, where Dissenter's Deliverance never does that. But perhaps I win this game if we were able to cycle the Dissenter's Deliverance, and it's not going to let me draw the card. Okay. Maybe four Misery is wrong. Maybe you want like two Misery, four Dissenters. Maybe that would be better. It would open up some more sideboard slots, but I'll be honest, I already had three blank slots in my sideboard, so I'm not sure what else I'd put there. But... Let's just keep on playing, get some more information about the deck. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the Epic epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Round number three, we're on the draw. I'm going to keep this. We do have, this hand's essentially a mulligan to six with the extra land grant, but even as a six, I believe that it's a keep. Island, not what I wanted. Play the Woodland Chasm past the turn. Basilisk Gate. The Modern Age. Draw. I mean, we're going to show them our hand here, which is kind of not great, but we want to be able to double spell this turn, play Tinderwall into Conjurer's Bobble. The problem here is that this deck is just not built to be control decks. They discard another Sacred Cat. They play a Chancery. They pick up the... Gate, and we have to try to win here while they only have one island untapped. We find Lotus Petal. That was a great draw because now we can go for it. Spell Pierce would stop us here, but we just have to try. Okay. Songs of the Damned? And that resolves. Okay, we have it. Grab the Demir House Guard. Play the Demir House Guard. Sacrifice the Spy. Set up our auto yields. Yes. Okay. Let's Conjure's Bobble back of songs. Cast the songs for 22. Grim Harvest back the Mirror Retriever. Play the Mirror Retriever. Sacrifice it. Get back the Conjurer's Bobble. Auto yield. Yes. Okay. Now we've established the loop. Get songs. Grim Harvest the Mirror Retriever. Okay. At this point, I'm going to quit narrating the plays so that way. My editor will remove this dead air where I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, so I probably should have narrated the last play. I used the other Crawl from the Grave to return me a Retriever, and then I return Grim Harvest with the, or I return Value Straight Spy with the Grim Harvest. Now we're at the point where I'm going to actually start to try to win the game. So let's pick up the Conjurer's Bobble. Yes. Okay. And. I generally wait until I have about 100 mana. That's a lesson that I learned playing that first league of the deck. So now I have 107 mana. We're going to Bail You Straight Spy the opponent. Save targets, always at you. Trigger. Okay, and now we'll sacrifice the spy. Return the spy. 
play it again. And we're going to just keep on looping the Grim Harvest with the uh, Belly Street Spy over and over again until our opponent is decked. That's the idea. We've won our first game against Cawblade. Or Cawgate, my bad. Definitely interested in Duress. And I'm going to do Dissenter's Deliverance again them, against them because I've seen Relics in their deck. I feel like Haunting Misery is a little bit weak to counter spells, so we're going to do the dis Dissenters this time. Get rid of the Wirewood Guardian. We're at 67. Get rid of the Destroyed the Evidence. Shave a Crawl. Board out two. Well, you can still win with Destroy the Evidence and Crawl from the Cellar, but it requires you have a Sacrifice creature, so a little bit more work. We're at 62 at the moment, which is still over the magic number. Maybe I'm supposed to just board out destroys altogether. Let's try this out. Game number two versus Cogate. Very good hand, we'll keep. Island. Land Grant. Grab the Woodland Chasm, play it and pass. They're just passing. We're looking for a way to find the forest now. Play Condor's Bobble. Pass the turn. Once we find the forest, we should be able to win the game. They're just drawing and passing. Songs of the Damned. Play another Conjurer's Bobble. Pass. They're passing once again. Skirt's Deep Analysis. Another Spy. Play the Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. They find land number two. We could try to win, but it would require a little bit of luck. Okay, we drew the Abundant Harvest. Um, let's cast it. So if we didn't draw the Abundant Harvest, the line would have been to Duress into... Spirit Guide, Cabal Ritual, Spy Myself, Songs of the Damned, Spy Again. Okay. By Dark Ritual Dress, I have two, four. Am I short? Dark Ritual Dress, three, four, five. No, that works. Dark Ritual. Spell Pierce. So if I pitch the Spirit Guide and pay... My man is short. I'm going to use a bobble here because if I find another mana, I can win. Okay, perfect. Play the Lotus Petal. A ball ritual. Spy. Target myself. And our opponent concedes. We got there versus a blue deck. Look at us now. One and two. <laughs> All right, match number four coming up. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Round number four, we're on the play. We have a spy. We don't have any initial mana sources, so we have to mulligan. Wow, this hand's very good. Keep bottom spy number two. Play the forest. Tinder wall, pass the turn. Mountain into Voldaren Epic here. Okay. Okay, our turn. Street Wraith is the draw. Let's reveal our land grant. Go get the Woodland Chasm. Play the Chasm. Uh, play the bobble. Pass the turn. Okay. If we draw anything that is plus one mana on our next turn, we win the game. They use a fiery temper. That's going to kill my tinder wall here. All right, we are no longer in that position. We now need to find dark ritual plus another mana source. Draw for turn. It's not bad. Cycle the Street Wreath down to 16 life. 
Okay, so if our wild cantor lives, we can do it now. Pass the turn. Lava dart. Not very nice. Okay, so now, <clears throat> sorry, uh, hitting puberty there. Uh, we do need to find another mana source here. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Triple lotus petal off the top when I said I needed mana sources. A dark ritual would have been nice, but hey, here we are with uh, the hard black lotus. Okay. Play a spy. Target myself. All right, and now we'll use the Conjurer's Bobble to return Songs of the Damned if I can find it. Cast the songs. Let's return the Demir House Guard, wherever it may be. We don't want to use the other crawl unless we have to, because that crawl is insurance against our opponent having lightning bolt to disrupt our combo. Okay. Yes. Auto yield. Now we'll return mirror retriever. And it looks like they're just F6. Sacrifice the Mirror Retriever. Return Conjurer's Bobble. Yes. Play the Bobble. And now we return Songs of the Damned. Cast it. Okay. So now we start looping. Turn the Bobble. Yes. Okay, I'm going to quit narrating this again. It's just like kind of tedious and I don't like just saying the same things over and over. And I'm sure you don't want to watch that either. All right, so I am going to start to try to win the game now. I have 90 mana. There should be enough against mono red that plays less lands in their deck. So at this point, we just have to uh, go through the motions, deck them card by card. And if I get too low, I can always stop and do something else. Like I can go back to making mana. Okay, yes, I want to return, and they conceded. So th we got the information that they're red block, they're not mono red. Going to game number two now. These decks usually play two spell bomb in the board. Get rid of this Wirewood Guardian. This card should probably be cut for something else. I'm just not sure what that something else should be. I don't think this deck actually needs or wants Mana Morphos. I've really been enjoying Wild Cantor, but... There's one slot, and I'm not sure what you should actually be playing. Some people play cycling creatures there, but I don't think they actually add a whole lot to the deck, where at least the Wirewood Guardian can thin one of these in a pinch. Let's do the Dissenters, I think. The fast matchup. Maybe I can shave one Destroy the Evidence for a third Dissenters. Let's try this. Unkeepable. Sure. Get rid of a wild cantor. Mountain into Voldaren Epicure. Draw. Street Wraith will say land. Okay, so now we need to find a spy. They play Mortuary Mire. Or I'm sorry, Soul First Mire. Into a second copy of Voldaren Epicure. Ouch. We're at 17. We draw another Street Wraith. Not ideal. We'll play Conjurer's Bobble. Pass the turn. I'm not playing out my creatures early this game because I want them to spend their burn spells on my face, which would theoretically allow them to stay mana sources, but we'll see how that plays out with my next turn. Swamp. I'll go to 15. They have four cards in hand. Draw. And it's the Spy. Do we win? I'm currently one mana short of a victory, so let's cycle the Street Wraith. 13. That doesn't do it. Go to 11. Come on, deck. Dark Ritual. Ah, uh, another Spy. Probably dead now. Play the Chinder Wall. Wild Cantor. 
Pass the turn. I have to imagine I'm dead when they have four cards in hand. Alms of the Vein, I'll go to eight. They did not burn me on the end step. Maybe there's a chance. Two mana. Trespasser's Curse. That is very tough for me to beat. I guess uh, they have Bog. Yeah, I can't actually beat that without the Haunting Misery. Okay. And there's the Dark Ritual I needed last turn. Come on, Doc. That's disappointing. I guess I can get a little bit of information out of them here. Uh, target me. Grab these songs. Cast it. Spy. You. One card. Destroy the evidence. I'm trying to figure out if they have spell bombs. You, we mill one card again. Okay. Let's go to post board. And I'll bring in a couple of those um, haunting miseries. Maybe I just get rid of the dissenters altogether because we also saw Bajuka Bog, so they might not have the spell bombs. Also, did I submit 61 last game? It says I'm at 61 right now. I must have submitted 61. Go down to two copies of Destroy the Evidence. Let's try this out. On the play for game number three. This is so close. Unfortunately, we have to mulligan. Not bad. I think we can get rid of the crawl. Pass the turn. Mountain, Swiss spear. Ouch. 19. Another songs. Land. Play the tender wall. Pass the turn. Bolt, they kill my tender wall. Ouch. 17. Well, Darren Epic here. I'm at 16 life. Draw. That's not bad. 14. Do we have it? <clears throat> okay, so I need 6 mana to win. So 3 mana, 4 mana, 5 mana, 6 mana. I'm 1 mana short. I have to pass the turn. So they're swinging for two. I would go to 12. Another Voldaren Epic here. So Simeon Spear Guide, Wild Cantor, another Street Wraith. That'll do. All right, Cabal Ritual. Songs. Songs. Destroy the Evidence. Okay, Songs of the Damned. Return the Demir House Guard. Draw from the cellar on the Mirror Retriever. Play the Mirror Retriever first. Demir House Guard. Pretty sure our opponent has something because they they're not f sexing this time. Sacrifice the Mirror. Return Conjurer's Bobble. They have a second Lightning Bolt for my Demir House Guard. I think we can go through it again, but I could be wrong here. Auto Yield. Okay, now we can return these songs. Demir House Guard. Oh, am I wrong? Uh, this might not do it. Yeah, I think we're actually dead. Uh, because it was destroyed the evidence and not spy. And I had to use both crawls. Yeah, they got me. I can't think of a way to win here. So I can sacrifice the Demir House Guard, trigger the Grim Harvest, but I can never get both Mir and the Demir House Guard back. 
They got me. So you could argue that maybe, I mean, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. A third crawl through the cellar over the woodland cycle creature would have solved this. But this might be a corner case. I'm not so sure. I believe there's only one match left. Yeah, there's one left. Let's try to win that and get 50 play points back. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The fifth and final round of this pauper league. We are on the play. Sure. I was thinking about the crawl through the cellar thing in between rounds, and I feel like it might actually be the right slot. And I see this because when you play the woodland, whatever creature it's called, the two mana for a cycler, it's not great. And some people run the one mana cyclers in those slots. But if you run the extra crawl to the grave, Street Wraith cycles, and it's similar. Uh, I mean, it's not one for one, but I think... It's close enough that the added utility there with Street Wreath probably pushes it over the edge if it allows you to beat stacked removal hands. Okay, double bolt. I actually purposely played out Wild Cantor first this time to see if it would live. Cycle the Street Wraith. Down to 17, we find another Wild Cantor. Cycle Street Wraith again. No such luck. Play the Retriever. Pass the turn. Experimental Synthesizer, and two Swiss Spear. Great Furnace. Implement of Combustion. Block the Epicure. Draw. A Bobble. Let's cycle the Bobble. Put a Land Grant on the bottom. I want to keep my creature count in there. We did not draw a Spy Effect. Play another blocker past the turn. Another copy of Monastery Swiss Spear. Synthesizer. Cut all the rebirth. This might be my last turn, so I really need to draw one of those eight spy effects right now. I have one in hand. I guess I'll block. Man, is not really a choke point here. Come on, deck, please. Womp womp. Pass the turn. They sacrifice the implement of combustion. I'm at nine life. There's a bushwhacker, and that's going to be the game. Okay. Next card wasn't it either. We were just never drawing a spy this game. Game number two. Bring in the Dissenters. Get rid of this Wirewood Guardian. That's the name of it. And then two, destroy the evidence. Submit. On the play. Sure. Yeah, I mean, this seems like a keep, but it's not one you're excited about. Play the Woodland Chasm past the turn. Great Furnace. Well, they an epic year. We find Land Grant, so that's fine. Play the Conjurer's Bobble. Tinder Wall pass. Another copy of Great Furnace. I will sacrifice the Tinder Wall. And let's kill their Voldarian Epicure. How do you like your stuff being murdered? Put all the rebirth. Draw. And there's a spy. Let's cycle the Street Wraith, see if we can hit. So that gives me four mana, but I need five in order to win. I'm going to cycle this to centers. Another Street Wraith that brings me to six cards. Hold on. Do we have this? Lotus Petal 7. Yeah, we just won. Cabal Ritual. 
Mail you straight spy. Target me. Put songs. Cast the songs. Draw from the cellar. Where's that Demir house guard? Play the house guard. Mirror retriever. Whew, okay, time to execute. I guess if I sacrifice the spy first, it makes one more mana as I do my loop, so I'll do that. Sacrifice the mirror retriever. Get back Conjurer's Bobble. Play it. Songs of the Damned. Cast it. Return the mirror retriever. Okay. Bobble. Play the bobble. Songs. Return the mirror retriever. And at this point, I'm going to quit narrating. You've seen enough. And the opponent just concedes. Thank you, opponent. I appreciate that. We are one game away from 50 whole play points. I can't believe it. Hit submit. This is unfortunately not a keep. We don't have any way to thin our deck of the lands and no initial mana sources. Okay. This is surprisingly very good. We're going to get rid of the songs, though. It doesn't actually do a whole lot for us here. And I want the dissenters just in case I need it. Draw. Let's land grant. Grab that basic forest. Play the abundant harvest. We'll say land and go get the woodland chasm. Pass the turn. So now I need to find Songs of the Damned or the Conjurer's Bobble. And I look like a fool for bottoming the songs after how good that turn one was. Draw. Okay. I think I'm just going to pass here. I don't want them to bolt my tender wall. And maybe this Dissenters converts into one of the cards I need. Another Kadaltha Rebirth. Oh, wow, they just have the turn three on the play. I am dead. This is 16 damage coming in. Wow, impressive. Can't be upset about that. Like, they did their thing. Wow. Okay, we did not get our play points back. And we were not going to win on our turn. So, that was really impressive. Props to them. Okay, so moving forward, I would cut the Wirewood Guardian entirely. I would still play two lands. You could look at a third copy of Crawl from the Cellar. You could also look at putting a main deck copy of Dress in there or even a Haunting Misery to speed up your combo. But I feel like Haunting Misery to speed up your combo isn't necessarily what you want to be doing. You should be maximizing the number of slots in your deck that help your combo out. So I'd probably play, I don't know, like a main deck Dress is fine. The third crawl is fine. I'm not interested in the cycling creatures or the wirewood guardian. Those are my thoughts for now. If you have any thoughts in what the cyborg fairy macabre should be, I'd be interested there. If you're going to say weather the storm for burn, I'm not interested. I've already considered it. I don't think that's fighting the matchup on the appropriate level, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. Like we're worried about their graveyard hate. We can't beat their damage and graveyard hate without diluting our combo deck. So I'm not interested in weather. So I'm sorry. It's not that I hate life gain. I just think that you're trying to fight them on the wrong axis, but this deck's super sweet. I'm interested in playing it some more, refining it a little bit, but I think for now, Wild Cantor was a big upgrade from the previous list. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.